Hello, everyone. Um, today, I want to talk a little bit about disability, specifically the social model versus the medical model. For today, you should have read a chapter in the Disability Studies Reader by a guy named Tom Shakespeare. You should have also watched this really simple introduction to the social model on, um, on YouTube, a minute and a half. And mostly, actually, the minute and a half, you know, the, summarizes the social model pretty pretty well. I'm going to give you a deeper sort of analysis. Um, and I also give you a handout to fill out as you read uh, where's the medical model. These were the key questions on that handout, which was remember all this stuff here. So you're supposed to re watch that video and you're supposed to read this and fill out the handout. So anyway, I'm going to walk you through those questions a little bit, in particular the first two. Um, the medical model sees people as individuals. So a person comes in in front in, in to, a, to a hospital and the problem is again, the individual. And interestingly, that language is big part of the problem. Big part of the problem is language, <laughs> which is stigmatizing. So think about it this way. If you've been in enough hospitals, you know this to be true. Hospitals are objectifying, dehumanizing places. You might go there to be healed. You might go there to be fixed. You might go there so you're no longer broken. But the very process of working with doctors, working in hospitals, is by its very nature objectifying. What happens, work with me here. Yes, they're fixing your body. Maybe you have a broken leg. But what happens is people become framed as problems. And that language, um, the, the, the way people are culturally framed as broken, let's say someone's a wheelchair, maybe they're in a wheelchair or will be using a wheelchair for the rest of their lives. Does that mean that they're broken? Does, there's a whole lot of cultural and social stigma attached to disability. And the medical process, kind of the, the way hospitals and doctors, the establishment treats people ends up adding to that cultural weight. Uh, maybe I'll give you a, a simple example. Um, okay, so uh, here's a simple example. Something is not a big deal, but we make it into a big deal. Uh, there are two forms of herpes. Uh, there's an oral version, which enormous, enormous percentage of people have. If you've ever had a cold sore, you have oral herpes. There's also genital herpes. Um, my understanding, I've dated two women that had this condition. It wasn't a big deal. They took meds and it was under control. But herpes has, it's a medical condition. But what happens is there's this incredible, 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 incredible stigma attached to it. And that's the concern. That's the problem with the medical model. People are seen as broken. And sometimes that 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 problem with the body becomes far worse because of the way we construct that body or we construct that mind as a problem. So people who believe, who follow the social model, one of their basic criticisms is the medical model, not model treats people as, as, as problems. And in, in, in so doing, creates even more problems for people who are in pain. The social model tries to, unlike the, end of the, the medical model, which essentially blames the problem on individuals, the social model takes the blame, and hence the stigma, off of individuals and puts it on society. Now, think about this. Individuals are blamed for being broken. Uh, society in the social model is blamed. The guilt is held by society. And this sounds a little bit bizarre. Most people think, oh, that person's disabled. And they think, oh, that's just an issue 
his or her individual issue. But the social model says that focusing the blame on the individual is stigmatizing and burdensome and, and uh, oppressive. And they say something like the following, work with me here. They make a distinction between impairment and disability. Now, it works like this. One may be impaired, one can be impaired. That doesn't necessarily mean that one is disabled. So for instance, I am, I wear glasses right now. The fact that my eyes are not in great shape is absolutely, absolutely an impairment. But guess what? I'm not disabled, even though there's no way I could dive without glasses. I'm not disabled because society, because society has provided me with access in terms of glasses. Now this kind of blows people's minds away. Do I have a physical impairment? Yes, bad eyes. I also have a deaf ear, right? Both of these are physical impairments. The deaf ear for the most part is not a, doesn't cause me access issues. In other words, I can have a deaf ear, you can have a deaf ear, and in most 99% of the situations, it's not gonna cause you any problem. You don't need a hearing aid, right? My glasses, however, if I don't have my glasses, I am impaired. And in terms of the social model, I'm not only impaired, but without glasses, I am truly disabled. So disability is about society denying you access. Disability is not something you have, it's something you're denial, denied. So it's like a social construct. In the example from the video you watched on YouTube, imagine a town that was created by people in wheelchairs. In fact, everyone is in a wheelchair. So that town is going to be constructed for people in wheelchairs. People in wheelchairs are going to be the default norm. So doorways, ceiling heights, everything is going to be determined by people in wheelchairs. So that is, are any of those people disabled? No, because the entire society is built around their bodies. And by, and by the way, in our world, the entire society is built around people who are physically able. In the video, what happens is physically, people who are not in wheelchairs, who stand upright, enter into this town. And guess what? The town is denying them access. They bump their heads <laughs> and, and they walk around with these huge bumps on their heads and bruises, right? So what, what the social model does is it suggests that people may have absolutely have bodies. People absolutely may have impairments, but just having bad eyesight, just having a bad, bad hearing doesn't equal disability because disability is not your fault. It's a denial of access on the part of the bodies. So if you're in a wheelchair and a college or government agency doesn't provide you with, uh, let's say a ramp, you're not disabled. I mean, you're disabled because of something they did. If, if the college doesn't provide you with an elevator and you need an elevator to get someplace, you're disabled, but that's not your fault. That's society's fault. So notice how the social model puts the blame on society and says, what are you doing, society, to make sure everyone can have access, everyone can have free access and equality in terms of their bodies? So those are the crucial questions. Medical model about the individual, social model is attacking the individualistic model and blaming instead society. Society has to change, not individuals. Um, talked about these, the strength of the social model is probably implicit. The social model is very much a political statement. It, it is something that disabled people have rallied around and it is used to shift the blame from people with, with disabilities or impairments to society, to make society and government change. Um, a basic critique of the social model um, is that you, know, you can only change so much. Society can change dramatically many, many, many things, but there are things that cannot be changed. 
if we were going to make every beach in North America accessible for people in wheelchairs, you could imagine how difficult that would be. You, to my knowledge, there's no simple way of putting a wheelchair on a sandy beach that works. There, there might be technology out there, but it, there are some things that are simply beyond society's reconstruction. So there are limits. There absolutely are limits. But generally speaking, the power of the social model is that it says to the world, I'm not the problem, you're the problem. And it is appropriate and just that society attempts to bring everyone in the fold, attempts to be welcoming and open and accessible to everyone. Okay, so those are the basic ideas. Please, if you didn't, reread Town Shakespeare. Um, and uh, please contact me if you have any questions about this. Thank you.